What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Motherland Experience. It's your girl, Nye, here, and today I have a wonderful treat in store for you. When you hear the word serenity, what do you think about? Peace, tranquility, solitude? Well, you will get that and more here at Serenity House Ghana. Today, I will be sitting down and talking with the lovely owner, Miss Chaskaiser, and we're beginning into her journey here in Ghana, as well as a few other things that, trust me, you do not want to miss. So sit back, relax, and let's go. I am sitting here with a true she boss. I am so honored to have this lady on this channel. So please help me welcome Miss Chaz Kaiser. Hello. 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 I would do the snap, but I haven't mastered it. I know, neither I have, have I. I'm, I'm still working. I'm trying. I'm, working. I'm trying at it. Oh. How are you? I'm good. Sister? I'm glad to be here with you. I like she boss. Yes. We, we, need some, we need some shirts. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. The she boss. She boss, yes. She, right? Be, yes. <laughs> right, exactly. Women's empowerment, right? Yes. Right. So how are you? I'm good. Um, I'm really well. Oh, well, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So could you please share yes. with our lovely viewers of where you're from? Okay. Uh, ooh, so that's a <laughs> that's a hard one. Oh. So I'm American. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a Texan, although I was born in California. Oh, well, because you were born in California. I was born in California. Okay, Cali sisters. Cali sister, okay. San Diego. Oh, gotcha. But then my family will, they will, I will get all, I will get calls if I do not mm. say I'm a Texan because I was raised in Texas. <laughs> okay. And you can hear the accent sometimes. Mm, um, okay. So there, I lived around the States for a while, but I've been in Ghana since 2016. Wow. Mm -hmm. So you've been here 2006. So you're, yes. you're one year, you have one year up on me. What? Oh. Yeah. You have one year one up year on up? me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you came in I probably don't even have that because I did it. I did. I left for one year for Jamaica. So we're, mm -hmm. we're, I think we're even. We're about even. We're about even. Yes. About on, on, even our, on, our, on our Ghana, Ghana time. <laughs> yes. He said on our Ghana time. Yes. So when you came mm -hmm. to Ghana, what, what led you here? What you could have went here? to any country. Why okay. Ghana? Um, well, the, the U.S. government let end up leading me here and my okay. and my now ex-husband my wonderful mm -hmm. ex-husband mm -hmm. and so he was um he was a diplomat and he got posted here mm -hmm. in 2016 we were living in virginia with our nine-month-old daughter and we had never like i had never thought i would live on a different continent i was open ah oh, okay and so when he um when he became a diplomat our first posting was here and we were able to choose mm -hmm. from different places and we loved the idea of ghana so it's one of the places on this list and so one year we were living in virginia cold weather and then i looked up and our nine month old daughter and i were we were we were here and he was mm -hmm. working for um the u.s embassy community so we came as part of the u.s okay. embassy community and we we just we really loved it oh you just fell in we, love we fell in we fell in love <laughs> fell yes. in love is paradise yes. for you so yes. i would say what was the first feeling mm -hmm. when you first arrived here in uh, Ghana? my first feeling was mm -hmm. why am i just now here <laughs> like I, yeah yeah well, what am i i was 30 mm -hmm. i want to date myself well, anyway i was 30 Oh, girl, you five look, at the time. Girl, you look good. Yes, girl. yeah, thirty-five <laughs> at the time, and I was like, why? Why did it take the U.S. Embassy bringing me here? Like, mm -hmm. why? Why in my twenties? Why mm -hmm. was I not already here? Why hadn't I mm -hmm. visited Africa? Why hadn't I visited Ghana? And wow. so, and so, it was a feeling of I should, I should have been visited like everyone else. Mm -hmm. um, but I like the culture. I like the people. I like the fabric. Ah, so um, you like the whole vibe. I like the whole vibe. Back yep. then, not now. Mm -hmm. um, I was with the U.S. Embassy community, so I, li I like my little cushy lifestyle. I don't have right. that now. <laughs> <laughs> and it was nice. So we, mm -hmm. he was with the embassy 2016, 2018. Um, and then we went to Jamaica, and then mm -hmm. I ended up coming back on my own as like a regular person, just a, a regular foreign national living wow. here trying to make it. And I know you know what that's like. Oh, believe me. Yes. Tr trust yes. me. Mm -hmm. I we Listen, we're here on that yeah, yes. one. We're here. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when you said that, why didn't I do this earlier? Yes. The important it's, thing is that you I'm here did. now. I'm here now. You and did. I'm getting other people to come. Ah, see? Yeah, before, before a job leads them, just come come for yourself. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's what it's all about, yes. right? You know, is getting people here to the mm -hmm. continent and really having an experience yes. that for themselves. For, yes, please. And that, I would say mm -hmm. that is the most overwhelming experience mm -hmm. ever. Mm -hmm. And, you know, with you, I would say you are an inspiration. Aww. Your story has really touched me. 
Oh, and you. Um, you know, and it's also perseverance and determination. So yes. please get mm -hmm. you know get into your story because get it's just my... awesome. Ooh, yes, okay. So we'll my, <laughs> so my story in a nutshell. So I came here 2016 again. Um, I was married at the time. I had a nine-month-old mm -hmm. daughter. Interesting is that my daughter's middle name is Asantiwa. Her first name is Micah. Her oh. middle name is Asantiwa. But when she was born, we mm -hmm. weren't thinking about Africa or Ghana. And we just liked the name of Santiwa. We were looking wow. for it, 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 like an African-centered name. Yeah. And so it was just, it's really just apropos and nice that she ended up having a Ghanaian name. Oh, um, so 2016, so 2018, um, I, I made immediate friends with expats and locals. Yeah, and um, and I loved Ghana mm -hmm. when we when we left in 2018 for his job to go to Jamaica. Mm -hmm. I thought that I would, you know, kind of just visit Ghana from time to time. Yeah. I never once thought about that, that I would live here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Got you. And then in Ghana, I mean, in Jamaica, yeah. my marriage fell apart. Oh, yes. OK. And so okay. and so when my marriage fell apart, mm -hmm. I was like, well, living in Jamaica is, is that's not going to work. Right. You know, it, 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 yeah, that's not not because of Jamaica, mm -hmm. but just because I was I started the process of divorce there. Right. I and understand. so I had to figure out what it where mm -hmm. where what am I going to do next? Right. And, you know, there were there's many options, but I saw two options. One was I go back to the States. I'm American. Mm -hmm. You know, my mm -hmm. background is communications, women's empowerment. I'm mm -hmm. a writer. I can. You know, I can easily go back and do what I was doing. Right. But then something was like, you, you're an American, but you're a global citizen. Right. Exactly. And you're, and you're African. Exactly. So exactly. why don't you go back to Ghana? Mm -hmm. And literally I was like, I could go back to Ghana. Couldn't I? Talk? And I was like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, 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 I, and I made the decision to come back. So I came back 2018 after a year in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. uh, me and my daughter, mm -hmm. we'd, uh, we didn't come back with the embassy. We came back with living at one of my really good friends' house, uh, mm -hmm. Claire. Okay. And I had to figure things out. So wow. luckily I had a good job with USAID. And mm -hmm. that, so I will not lie and say that like having, like coming in and having a salary mm -hmm. made life immensely easier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but it was still a struggle because you don't have... Like you don't come in and then there's your house. Right. Kind of like this. that safety it's, net. You, you don't know. know it's figuring mm -hmm. out everything from scratch. And I was like, okay, this is not the Ghana I thought. Yeah. <laughs> Even though some of the issues that I, that I, that I had when I first, you right. know, like the electricity and the water mm -hmm. and just cultural nuances, I still mm -hmm. had to struggle. But now it was cost of living, living here mm -hmm. and all the cultural differences and it's, getting accustomed. It's totally different. Yes. It really yes. is because I admire you mm -hmm. because you had an option to go back to the States. Yes. It's where you're from. Mm -hmm. That's your comfort mm -hmm. area. Yes, your comfort I had five zone. different people to live with. Okay, yes. see? Yes. But you decided Ghana, yes. you know, and you mm -hmm. decided to start anew with your daughter. Yes. You yes. know, after yes. after that divorce mm -hmm. that happened, mm -hmm. uh, you decided to come back. And mm -hmm. that speaks a lot about you oh, and your you. determination. And you're like, Ghana is my home. Yeah, Ghana's my okay. home. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it work. <laughs> and you I, and I have, yes. <laughs> it's been hard, but I'm making it work. Yes. Oh, well, well, you know, mm -hmm. even hearing your story about this beautiful place, mm -hmm. Serenity House, mm -hmm. Ghana. Okay, so I'll talk about you that, You know, yes. it's just mm -hmm. it's kind of the story. You're saying you have having panic attacks. Mm -hmm. You really, you went through, but mm -hmm. you came to the other side. I'm, yes. I'm, kind, I'm in the process of coming to the other are side. You're in the process? The other side is when this place is making, and we'll talk about mm -hmm. story, when, when this place is making money to pay for itself and mm -hmm. I'm recouping all my money. That's the other side. Oh, so that's the other side. Yeah, right now we're like, we're getting there and I see the sun. Oh, you see the yes, sun coming the sun is, You see it? I, I know, it. So yes. you see the sun. Yes. Well, I have to say, it's a beautiful place. Thank it you. It really, really mm -hmm. is. It's a beautiful place and no matter what, mm -hmm. You, you're making it happen. Thank you. You know, mm -hmm. so what challenges mm -hmm. did you face mm -hmm. opening With this, up Serenity okay. House? Um, so uh, the, the background for Serenity House is I was working for USAID. Mm -hmm. I was a communications manager for two regional um, trade projects. Well, one a regional trade project and then a regional uh, sustainability project. Mm -hmm. And the whole time, like I, those, that's my passion is communications, but I've always wanted to work for myself. Mm, I've always wanted to yeah. have an actual place yeah, right. <laughs> that I'm going to be like, oh, welcome to my business. Yeah. I didn't know what that was going to be. And during COVID is where I got the idea of Serenity House. I was stuck mm. in the house with my lovely daughter, but she's still a child. You're stuck in the house. Right. It was not fun. I get it. I do. Yeah. And That's I would go lot. to my friend's house mm -hmm. and I would use her house like, like a home away from home. And I was mm -hmm. like... It would be nice if every woman had another place she could go to yes. where she could treat it like it's her living room, it's mm -hmm. her bedroom. And I was like, ooh, <laughs> yes. I could do a guest house and a cafe. Okay. Anna, 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 Anna. Mm -hmm. And that's where the idea came for Serenity House. It was going to be 
um, a home away from home for women mm -hmm. and an event space for anyone. And this slowly transitioned to be like a larger um, mm -hmm. goal where it's in a it's an event space. It's a bed and breakfast. Mm -hmm. We have a shared cafe and we do events. And my focus is still women's empowerment. But now we allow for it, for, for everyone. OK, so yes. it's all inclusive. It's all inclusive. Yes. So okay. even, even at first, I was telling you, like, first yeah. it was our bed and breakfast. It's only women can stay. Yeah. Now I'm like, oh, but it's nice when couples come. Right. And OK, one of our friends wants to get come. I can be like, nah, you're a guy. <laughs> So it's, it's a slowly evolving thing, mm -hmm. um, but the focus is still building community mm -hmm. for me, women's empowerment and um, and being like a really unique space. Right. Like and we're a hotel that's not a hotel. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. And there needs to be more spaces like mm -hmm. this, because like you said, you, you just need a home away from home. Yes. And mm -hmm. I love the mm -hmm. fact that it's kind of a serenity house is all encompassing. Mm -hmm. You yes. do so much here. Mm -hmm. And it's a place where, of course, I like the mm -hmm. women's. Yeah, I, do. I, I like the women's. Yes. I'm not going to lie. Yes. But I understand mm -hmm. opening up to everybody. Yes. You know, it's an event center. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a jack of all trades. Yes, it really, really is. Trades. You know, yes. and, and Zen peaceful environment. Thank you. We, we try to be peaceful. We have fun, though. Right. Yeah, so people yeah. are like, we were like, do I have to be quiet? No, I'm the loudest person at Serenity House. <laughs> you do not have to be quiet. Yes, it's like, it's no, just, you don't have yeah. to be quiet. You just be yourself. Yeah, because serenity actually means untroubled. Mm. It doesn't mean quiet mm. or it means troubled, un untroubled. Really? It means like even when there's stuff going on, you're still like, Okay, that's a mess, but I'm still good. You still that's good. That's what it means. You still have me. your yeah. serenity. Yes. Okay, yes. I love that. I love that. So how mm -hmm. did you overcome those challenges? Those over what mm -hmm. in you mm -hmm. were able to overcome mm -hmm. those challenges that you faced? Um, in opening Serenity mm -hmm. House or and just in really general? Just overall. Just, um, mm -hmm. I think, let's see. So, I mean, initially the first challenge... So there's been there's been there's been lots of hurdles. The first mm -hmm. hurdle when I got back here was overcoming the pain of divorce mm, wow. and just a relationship that you thought would last forever. Yeah. Just being like, nah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> right. And right. so there was a lot of healing um, that had to, you know, had, you know, had to take mm -hmm. place. And so I, I I came here. I started within the within like the two weeks that I came back from Jamaica to here. Mm -hmm. I started a new job. I was living in Ooh. someone else's lovely house, trying to find my own house. Mm -hmm. And I have my daughter raising her by myself. Yes. Um, now her, her father is exceptional. Mm -hmm. And so he's still, he's very actively. In fact, she's, she's in the States right now with him for the whole summer. Oh, but it was, that's yeah, beautiful. but it was still the mm -hmm. idea of, okay, she wakes up and it's me mostly. Right. Got you. And, mm -hmm. and just getting over the fact that I, I really believe in two parent homes. Mm -hmm. Like I really at single mothers, yeah. hood is fine. Mm -hmm. But in me, I think the ideal is, a, a child waking up to a mom and a dad. Right, no, yes. I understand. That's the natural yeah, order it's a match. of things, really. So, for me, it was painful, yeah. especially yeah. as a a, um, a person, a woman, whose mm -hmm. parents got divorced, mm -hmm. and my ex-husband didn't never knew his dad. And I was like, Am I, I'm repeating these same, mm -hmm. these same traumas. And so I was mm -hmm. deeply hurt. And so it took a lot of time to get over the idea that this is not the life I imagine. Mm -hmm. So if this is not the life of a man I imagine, Am I going to cry about it or am I going mm -hmm. to craft something different? And I'm like, well, let me craft something different. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Let me make it better. Mm, and so okay, now, now, I love that. yeah, at first it was like, okay, well, I guess I'll pick up the pieces. Right. And, <laughs> and now I'm like, well, I can have a whole new life. Right, exactly. Yeah. I can start anew. I can start anew. Yeah. So it's like, now I get to do another story. Mm -hmm. Right, another uh, chapter. Another, another chapter. Another chapter, because our life is yeah. different chapters. Yes, you yes. You know, yes. and you started, you yes. started a new chapter and yes. you turned something mm -hmm. that, could have been devastated mm -hmm. you, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Into the good. Into, so yes. And I have a question. Do you think that Ghana, mm -hmm. you could have picked up the pieces anywhere else? Mm -hmm. Do you think that Ghana yeah. had a role into your healing? Ghana. For your healing? Um, yes, I do. Mm -hmm. And so part of it, we have to think, so it's, it's not necessarily the country, it's what makes Ghana. And mm -hmm. so one of the reasons why I really wanted to come back with my daughter is that Ghana is very family oriented. Yeah. They love this from kids. <laughs> you show someone a kid, you can get in all kinds of doors. Right. And they're so and cute. And they're so cute. They yeah. really are. There's yes. really adorable kids. There's really just adorable kids. <laughs> but everyone loves kids. Yes. Like there's you can't go to the States where like there's men mm -hmm. who take time to talk to my daughter. Not in a mm -hmm. weird way, but just right. like they know her name. They ask about her. Oh. So there's a feeling of safety I have with having my daughter here. It's very mm -hmm. family oriented here. Mm -hmm. um, people love and respect kids. The cost of living to raise a child is cheaper here. Mm -hmm. And so that's okay. one of the things that I liked is that it's very family oriented mm -hmm. and that everyone really looks after. It's like a village when it comes to kids. Yes, um, definitely. The feeling of um, 
just the ambiance and the and the and the air. So mm -hmm. I'm not a cold person. Mm -hmm. I need me so I need I need warm air. Okay, so and you're so a heat thought, I'm gal. a heat person, so okay. I got heat all day. <laughs> and so it's just it's like you wake up, it's lush, mm -hmm. it's 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 beautiful. You know, there's parts that ain't beautiful. That's everywhere. Right, it's everywhere. So you it's go. that. Yeah. And then people are just very open. People are just very open here. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. like in the States it's easy to make friends. I can make friends any any anyway. Yeah. But people I think they naturally receive you. Mm -hmm. um here more mm -hmm. and so like gotcha. the friendships that i made are really important mm -hmm. and then it's just i like i like i like ghanaian hospitality oh well yes. speaking of ghanaian yes. hospitality your your eve name huh. my eve name is kekele uh, kekele yeah, okay means right in eve. oh yes. that's beautiful yes. i actually love mm -hmm. that name i love kekele. it too our, 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 our work cafe is named is called kekele work cafe now oh yes. that's so cute mm -hmm. it, it's a it's a beautiful name Thank it you. really really is and see you adopted that name mm -hmm. you know from yes. the eve yes and yes it's, you know it shows that sense of community mm -hmm. it yes. really really does yes. it shows that sense of community and with with this mm -hmm. with you kind of focusing on women's empowerment mm -hmm. now serenity house yes. Ghana is opened up mm -hmm. but you're still focused on mm -hmm. women's empowerment yes. so how have mm -hmm. you seen mm -hmm. i guess women mm -hmm. through opening up serenity mm -hmm. house Ghana? Mm -hmm. how have you seen the involvement of the women involvement of this? women okay so when we the so there's different aspects of serenity house Ghana. Mm -hmm. there's the event spaces which have which the plan was always to have anyone can rent. Mm -hmm. I mean, anyone can rent an event space. Um, there's the Kakeli Work Cafe, which is open to just professionals. They come in, free coffee, well, water, tea, mm -hmm. Wi-Fi for a fee, and then mm -hmm. you can bring your own food. Okay. Um, and there's office spaces that are rent. Mm. It was the bed and breakfast that was specifically going to be for just women. Okay. Because we have a we have a four-bedroom apartment mm -hmm. on the top of Serenity House. And the idea was that it would be like an intimate space where solo women travelers and girls groups could come and just mm -hmm. chill out. You can walk around in your pajamas or everything. Right, anything. just feel free. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so that has evolved to where if there's a male client and he wants to stay, it's it's mm -hmm. fine. Because half the time I would get women saying, when I come back, I want to bring my boo. And I'm like, ah. Uh, yeah. So it's like, I, I can't to, bring your boo. Yeah. No, yeah. no, I have. So I had to evolve right. based on, yes. I understand. Um, yeah. But the first people we had where there were like five women mm -hmm. and they were just chilling and loving it. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are women who come specifically for healing oh wow yes they, they're, they're like our, one of our first guests she came she's like i am here to heal and that was at the, mm. at the time when we only allowed women Gosh. and so it's something i'm kind of navigating my mm. idea is that sometimes the bed and breakfast would just be used for girls groups we only mm. have four rooms so it's not like okay you know okay okay um, well that i would say healing because mm -hmm. you know all of us have have issues no matter yes. what gender yes you know but us as mm -hmm. women mm -hmm. it's like you know we really we have kind of different type of issues mm -hmm. and you just need something you know maybe just mm -hmm. to chill with your sisters yes, or even yes. just have mm -hmm. time for you mm -hmm. as a woman yes. you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying like you said you that mm -hmm. person told mm -hmm. you oh i got healing mm -hmm. you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying and that mm -hmm. is just that is just beautiful so so that would be through the events so okay. for example we had a she talk oh, and okay. so we did our a spin she on ted talks as she talks okay. and so we had three speakers the first um was it was the headliner was erica daniel and mm -hmm. she did one on healing your inner child Oh, wow. Yes. Um, That's important. It was important. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then there was a girl named Sam Laura, a woman mm -hmm. named Sam Laura, um, and she did hers on pregnancy after 40. Ooh. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. It's hard out there. Yeah. And then there was a Dubia, and she did mm -hmm. one on um, opening businesses in Ghana. And so, okay. and so, and it's geared towards women. So mm -hmm. our focus, like when we host events, is going to be focused on women's empowerment. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm going to have like, um, like, what do you call like girl lounge parties. Oh, okay. that's cute. We're, we're like launching that. a faith and fellowship uh, second Sunday, where it's just for women. You come, oh. and there's going to be a female speaker talking mm. about um, something important to women. Yeah. So I'm still able to accomplish my mission, but it's through events. All right. Well, see, yeah. the important thing is through events, mm -hmm. through bread and breakfast, yes. by whatever means mm -hmm. you're making it happen, and yes. you're getting you're getting yes. it accomplished. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's the important mm -hmm. thing. So, how do you feel mm -hmm. that by being here in Ghana mm -hmm. as a woman? How do you feel mm -hmm. that through women's empowerment, mm -hmm. di women from the diaspora mm -hmm. and Ghanaian women mm -hmm. can be empowered together? Can be empowered together. Yes. Okay. So I think it's it's having spaces to do that because mm -hmm. what happens is if you're if you're African American woman and you're coming from the states and mm -hmm. and our 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 place is geared towards African American women and men. Okay. Like so, we mm -hmm. accept we accept everyone. Mm -hmm. But when marketing and when talking, I'm we're, we're geared because there's so many black women and men from the diaspora who yes. come here and I want this to be a safe and soft landing pad. 
Oh, yes. I love that. Yes, but I love when, that. When, it's needed. It's needed. <laughs> Ooh, it's but when needed. women come, yes. the first, they, they tend to navigate to other diasporans. Mm, got and, you. and so and so mm -hmm. and so one of the things I've done is we have the word cafe, we mm -hmm. have events and we market our events towards primarily local women because they're the mm -hmm. ones who are here. Right, right. Yeah, and mm -hmm. and and diaspora women. And so mm -hmm. it's through our events like if she talks, it was half Ghanaian, half expats. Mm -hmm. We had a diaspora okay. entrepreneurs mixer, but we mm -hmm. still end up having Ghanaian entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. gotcha. And so it's, it's it's creating spaces where they can meet because otherwise you're gonna be in your own bubble. Right, and kind of make it a little isolated. Yes, and yeah. I love love it here because it mm -hmm. is about networking, and we need something also for the diaspora. Well, yes. because I mean, there I mean literally mm -hmm. droves mm -hmm. of people from the west. Yes, oh, we're coming. coming here. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we're we coming. are coming. Yes. It's like crazy yes. over the yes. past years yes. how many of us mm -hmm. are coming, and we need something you know for the diaspora yes, as well. We do. So mm -hmm. I'm I'm loving it. I'm mm -hmm. loving it. So mm -hmm. my last question for yes. you, Ms. Kelly. Oh, oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Help me help me help me remember my name. Oh, yes. <laughs> Ms. Kelly uh -huh. is you are you're a businesswoman here. Yes. And there are so many people like you said the mm -hmm. that you have that mm -hmm. she talks about going mm -hmm. over mm -hmm. business, mm -hmm. you know, and being a female yes. entrepreneur. What advice would you give to women mm -hmm. who are looking back? I'm coming to the motherland. I'm coming uh -huh. to Ghana. Uh -huh. I want to uh -huh. get into business. Yes. What are three main things three main those things. women need to know? Uh, they need to know that you need to come here and mm. visit first. Mm. So, like, I'm... Uh, I'm, I, I am a, like, I believe in God. Mm -hmm. I hear he's going to tell me to do, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. But you, please don't come in with your bags and <laughs> and just live. Come and visit first. Yes. Get acclimated with mm -hmm. the culture. Meet mm -hmm. people, you know, do research on the business. Because the businesses, some businesses that work in the States, they will not work here. That's so true. Some products That's that you so want to sell, true. no one's paying believe for that. Me, I've yeah. had a personal yes. experience. With mm -hmm. that, with where that I'm work. like thinking, oh, this is gonna work. Then a bit more work it's here. Not, no, so, it's not yeah. gonna work. <laughs> so yes, you're telling the truth. Sir. Yes. So, mm -hmm. so come first. First, come here and mm -hmm. visit. Stay at Serenity House. I'm just saying, you know. Um, <laughs> but do do your research on mm -hmm. products and services. Talk 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 to diaspora entrepreneurs, but mm -hmm. really talk to Ghanaian entrepreneurs mm -hmm. who 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 yes. have been in business for five, ten years, who mm -hmm. have started businesses and failed and started over. Mm -hmm. And so that's one. The, the second is to network with diaspora entrepreneurs and, and local entrepreneurs. So make sure that yes. you're attending events and everything. Mm -hmm. And the third is just know that, I'm sorry, it's not going to be easy. I just want you to know. Oh, it's well, not. You're it's a testament not. to that. It's not. You're a testament to yes. that, but you have to be determined. You have to be determined. And so, mm -hmm. but, it's, but it's to know that because I don't want to be negative. Mm -hmm. But I think you need to understand that don't come here thinking that because you have a lot of what you think is a lot of money mm -hmm. and... Mm -hmm. And people are, you know, greedy, oh, sister, and in the tree. Yeah. That it's going to be easy. It's, it's mm -hmm. a lot of work to have a business here because mm -hmm. there's so many things that you would expect to go a certain way that don't. There's so many processes yes. in the states that don't work here. Nope. And so you yeah. need to be, you need to have a lot of patience to build a business here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lots of patience. You need to have a lot of patience, yeah, stamina. <laughs> A good, a good prayer life, ready to pray universe or whatever. Right. Yeah, so you need to get your mind right. Exactly. Yes. Like get your yeah, mental, get your, get, get, your your mind, get your mind right. right. Yes. You know, because yes. it's 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 a it's a it's a feat. It it's really a, is, yes. but it's doable. It's, you know it's absolutely doable. If it was, if I didn't think it was doable, I mm -hmm. wouldn't do it. Mm -hmm. um, and then I want to add a fourth, and this is something that just like it's mm -hmm. just recently that I'm like okay. Um, and this is this is probably for people who are already here. Mm -hmm. It's that I think like in my head, I've always had a plan B. And my mm -hmm. plan B was, OK, if this doesn't work, I lost a lot of money, mm -hmm. but I can go stay with my Aunt Sherry uh -huh. or I can stay with my ex-husband because I do have a guest mm -hmm. bedroom. OK. And so for me, it's, it's, it's saying, you know what? There's no plan B. Mm -hmm. it's, oh. it's plan Ghana all day. <laughs> no plan it's, it's, B. There's no plan, plan B. Ghana. They, they call it burn the boats. <laughs> there's no, you burn the boats. Mm -hmm. You're here. You have to make it work. Because yes. what happens is people will go back to America mm -hmm. because things didn't work out. And as soon right. as they get there, they're like, I don't like this. Right. <laughs> and they so want to come back. And yes. gotta... so, so I'm learning that this has to work. Wow. And well, if it doesn't, something else will work. Something else will work. Yes. Because when one door closes, another yes. one will open. Yes. You know, the yes. most has got you. You know, and mm -hmm. what you were saying, you're not being negative. This is mm -hmm. just real talk. Yes. yes. You know, and it's, you're keeping it real. Mm -hmm. You're keeping it 100. So mm -hmm. I I really respect you for that. You. you. know, and just telling your story, mm -hmm. telling your journey. I, I appreciate you so Thank much, you. sis. You just have such a wonderful energy Thank and you. vibe about you. And I 
wish nothing. I just know that only the best is yet to come for Serenity House Ghana. Hey, right? thank you. Thank you. Thank so, you. So, and so thank you so much for being mm. on the channel. I really appreciate you. And thank you so much, you guys, my lovely viewers, for tuning in. Please mm. do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this information with others. Yes. And if you would like to reach out mm -hmm. to Kikeli, mm -hmm. we will leave all of her information in yes. the description box. Okay? okay. Alrighty. Till next time. Mwah. Oh, let me do it too. Mwah. I can't. I, <laughs> Bye. Bye.